Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Rain and snow continuing to fill in from the west, and this will favor western and central areas here. Light accumulations in most areas, if anything at all. This does clear later this evening, overnight into tomorrow. We're going to be left with a clear sky and more sunshine filling in Thursday afternoon. Crystal. As you get ready to head out the door, we are following the day's top local stories. We do start with Fernanda Lopez with breaking news. Crystal, some big changes in the case of accused cop killer Devon Lyman. Just weeks before his murder trial is set to begin, Judge Brianna Zamora has removed his public defenders from the case. The state brought up there was a conflict of interest because the office of the public defender represented a key witness for the state, Savannah Garcia, during a federal trial for Devon Lyman. Now, Lyman is charged with the murder of APD officer Daniel Webster in 2015. More on the role Garcia is expected to play in the upcoming trial for. Lyman coming up in the five facts. Sarah? Happening today, a former Sandoval County Sheriff's deputy accused of peeping into the window of a teenage girl's home is expected to find out how much time he could serve behind bars. Ventura Salas is scheduled to be sentenced today at 1 30 for this incident when surveillance cameras caught Salas looking into the window of a 16 year old girl in July of 2016. He's only facing a petty misdemeanor because under New Mexico law, the offender must see intimate areas to be charged with felony voyeurism. Salas already pleaded no contest, even though he's maintained that it's not him in the video. Crystal. On to a live look over Florida this morning. Students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, they're heading back to class as we speak. You can see a heavy police presence there. This is two weeks after a gunman killed 17 people, students, and school staff. Sources do tell CBS News the charged gunman planned on using a third floor stairwell as a sniper's nest, but his bullets did not shatter the hurricane glass window, hurricane proof, I should say, glass window in the school. Authorities say he had more than 180 rounds left that day. Along those lines, and new at six, we're learning the Santa Fe School Board has voted to direct Superintendent Veronica Garcia to find between $250 and $300,000 for doors with automated locks. This is according to the Santa Fe New Mexican. Now, the doors would go on all district classrooms and administrative buildings. The Santa Fe School Board is also supporting students and staff in their walkout on March 14th to protest gun violence in schools. Now, more on what else the school hopes to do in the five facts. On to news happening right now. U.S. District Judge is siding with President Trump on building that border wall with Mexico, removing what could have been a major obstacle to the president's campaign pledge. The judge, ironically, is Gonzalo Curiel, the same Indiana born judge with Mexican heritage, whom the president accused of being biased over his handling of fraud allegations against his now defunct Trump University. New overnight, police are investigating a shooting in northeast Albuquerque. APD says it happened at a trailer park near San Pedro in San Antonio around 10:20 last night. Police say paramedics rushed two people to UNM Hospital with gunshot wounds. They say the pair is listed as stable and are expected to, sur to survive. We'll update you as we find out more. On to new news this morning. The Rio Rancho Police Department is asking for your help finding a missing man. Take a look at your TV screens here. Police say James Tenorio was last seen leaving his group home on Darlene near 2nd and Unser in Rio Rancho. This was yesterday around 5 o'clock in the morning. Officers believe the 55-year-old man is in danger if he's not found soon. Tenorio was wearing a, a, wearing a light brown jacket and gray pants. Anyone with information, you're asked to call police immediately. New details this morning. Next month, Berlio County Commissioners are planning to vote on a proposal that calls for an independent review of Sheriff Department's use of force. Commissioner Maggie Hart Stebbins is calling for the review. This after a spike in deputy involved shootings and chases, along with expensive lawsuit settlements. Now, last night, three commissioners voted to defer the bill to have more time to review it. The resolution requires Sheriff Manny Gonzalez and the county manager to hire a third party to review policies, recommend changes, and provide a final report. On to this. This morning, the search for a man accused in two dangerous robberies in the East Mountains is over. Alejandro Silva is waking up facing charges today. Bernalillo County deputies say they nabbed Silva after a second hours long SWAT standoff. It happened last night in a home off State Road 333. Silva and Jonathan Saez are accused of trying to rob a store in Chilili before successfully robbing another in Tijeras. They say the two also attempted to carjack a postal worker. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index at a five, looking at the possibility of a few spot rain showers later on today, but colder temperatures too. Highs only in the 40s with breezy conditions coming out of the west southwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Crystal?
New facts at 6. A new landmark study is encouraging a major change in how millions of patients receive IV fluids. Doctors at Vanderbilt University Medical Center say giving patients IVs containing balanced fluids instead of the usual saline could save tens of thousands of lives every year. New at 6. The CEO of SeaWorld is out. Joel Manby is stepping down effective immediately after failing to revive attendance. Manby was hired in 2015 to get the company on track following sharp criticism over its treatment and breeding of killer whales. Kristen. Come now for a check on your morning commute. Just some minor to moderate slowing I-25 southbound past Osuna. Everything else looks great. On to new news this morning. Walt Disney Company pouring $2.5 billion into its Paris theme park. The expansion plan at Disneyland Paris will feature Marvel superheroes as well as characters from, the Fro from Frozen and Star Wars movies. Huh. Cool. I like that idea. All right, time now. At number five this morning, you can catch a glimpse of the progress being made at the Bioparks Penguin Chill exhibit. The Biopark recently posted two construction time lapses of work being done over the last 14 months. The exhibit will be home to three species of penguins. And get this, it will have the largest interactive educational area of any habitat at the Biopark. Even better news, it's set to open in April. It looks pretty cool. Number four now, tonight, Santa Fe Public School District is set to host a safety parent forum to discuss safety and security protocols within the district. This after Superintendent Veronica Garcia says she does want input from parents about her new security plan that could include armed officers on campus. Garcia also wants to require people visiting the schools to wear IDs and possibly add active shooter training for students. We also learned the school board approved funding for Garcia's idea to add automatic locked doors in schools. At number three, rain and mountain snow coming in from the west. This will favor the morning and early afternoon hours of western and central New Mexico. Albuquerque, a few spot rain showers, but little to no accumulation. Breezy to windy conditions for those over southern and eastern New Mexico. Cooler temps statewide with warmer and drier conditions coming in tomorrow. At number two, Albuquerque police are asking for help from the public in a bizarre case. Two bodies found in Santa Fe County last week are now identified as 70-year-old Eugene Carroll Ray and Zachariah Fry. Now, they were reported missing last month from Albuquerque. A rancher in Stanley found one of the bodies last Monday inside a rolling trash bin dumped on Matoya Road off Highway 41. The other body was found dumped a few miles away. Number one, now breaking overnight news. Accused cop killer Devon Lyman will no longer be represented by the public defenders who've been on his case. Lyman is accused of shooting and killing APD officer Daniel Webster during a traffic stop. Judge Brianna Zamora recently ruled conflict of interest because the Office of the Public Defender represented a key witness for the state during a federal trial against Lyman. The state plans on using testimony from Savannah Garcia, who they say was on the back of that motorcycle that night. Garcia is one who testified in the federal trial to witnessing the shooting. However, Lyman's attorneys claim another woman, Tiana Lazoya, was actually on the back of that bike. More details on our website. That's KRQE.com.